Spring has sprung and we're getting into the swing of it over at Heritage Hill. They're having a big celebration today with plenty of activities for the family. One of those activities, shearing sheep. Jeff Heave joins us now live to show us how it's done. Good morning, Jeff. Good morning. How are you? I'm well, good. Today we're going to be Go today ahead. we're going to be shearing sheep two ways. Um, I am the lucky one who gets to do it the very old-fashioned way with the old hand clippers here. Um, and then we're also going to have somebody doing it with um, some modern clippers also. So you can see the difference between those two methods. Um, our lucky um, victim here today is Scotty. He's a Cotswold. And I've kind of opened him up a little bit so you can see. Um, here's, here's Scotty without the shearing. And then this is what he's going to look like. You can start to get an idea once Ooh. I'm done. <laughs> he's really um, losing a I lot was, of hair. <laughs> yeah, he does. Or this wool. is his once a year haircut, so it takes a lot off in that one time. Um, I always say that uh, shearing a sheep is kind of like taking off his coat. And you start with the zipper, which is his belly here. So I've already kind of started that um, and cut this down. And then you just kind of start taking it off. So you get it off of his, his arms and off at the leg. And then it really truly is just like a scissors going here. So we just keep peeling it back as we go. And Scotty and seems to be doing pretty well while you do that. Yeah, I, you know, Scotty, uh, they call him sheep for, you know, that we, we say like brave like a lion. You never hear anybody say, say ferocious like a sheep. <laughs> um, sheep are pretty docile and I have control of him and he knows he can't go anywhere. So he just kind of hangs out here um, and gets his, uh, his coat off. I kind of think that that while they're getting it done, they don't appreciate it. But <laughs> once it starts to get hot, they'll appreciate it a so lot what more you, after that. So what are you going to do, Jeff, with all of that wool after you shear all the sheep today? Well, what happens is it goes through a process of uh, a skirting, which is they take off all the yucky stuff that we don't really want to talk about, um, get rid of that. Then it gets washed um, to get all of the stuff that they can get out of it. Um, carded, which is like combing, uh, lining the fibers, and then it'll get spun. Um, once it's spun into yarn, then um, knitted, used in a lot of things. You could also use it for felting, which is kind of smooshing the fibers together to make hats and different things. So all of the wool that gets uh, taken off of these sheep gets used right here at Heritage Hill. Okay, and of course people can learn more about that today at the big celebration there, the big spring celebration at Heritage Hill. Is that going from 10 to 4.30 today, Jeff? Yes, it is. An admission is just $5. If you bring in a church bulletin, you get a dollar off that admission. There's a, a pancake and porky breakfast for just $2 extra. We have a petting zoo, um, historic tractors, um, games for the kids, lots of stuff coming on here today. And it looks like it's going to be gorgeous, so yeah, come on out. Yeah, it, it, it sounds like it's going to be one. Well, you have fun, and we'll check in with you later. Okay, thanks. Bye. And bye, Scotty. Bye. <laughs>